All right, kids and parents, I am here with my good friend, a mighty woman of God. Her name is Jeannie Lewis. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Pastor Jim. <laughs> and so hi, kids. How are you doing? I'm just doing really good. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I know you've had a, a struggle with COVID-19. Yes. Still in kind of... Uh, I'm still I'm fighting the battle, but... Okay. God's in control, so he's going to take care of me. <laughs> it's like you're, you're doing okay, and uh, I, I'm so glad that you got to uh, – I, I was so glad I thought of you uh, as an example of somebody for our kids and parents this week of uh, somebody that I know that has been influenced and has influenced others for Christ. And so our lesson this week is about how we should tell other people about the good news – and uh, so I thought of you, and I just, you know, I had a few questions. Miss Jeannie was a part of the church that I was at, at uh, Medway Church. And one of the things that they do really well, kids and parents, is they put people in a God job. So I was a aware of Miss Jeannie uh, standing by the doors, greeting others. And was that your God job, Miss Jeannie? Yes, it was. And so why did, you, why did you pick that God job? Well, for number one, I love people and I love to talk a lot. <laughs> and I like for them to feel welcome and that they are loved. It's uh, very important to show love. That's right. And God's goodness. And, and uh, you are a perfect example of that. I, I remember thinking to myself, that lady is, is positive. She's having a positive influence on people that come in the door some of them probably had never been to church before, and they were greeted by you, and, and you did something that uh, probably a lot of churches don't get uh, a whole lot of, where they are being greeted as if they are a long-lost friend that um, has come back. <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> so I appreciated that about Miss Jeannie. And, uh, and then I, I remember a little bit about your story. And so I wanted to ask you, how long have you been serving Jesus? Well, for a long time. <laughs> for a long time. You were what age? Oh, my goodness. I, I would say, well, I mean, I, I, I fell in love with Jesus around the age of five years old. And, and who got to know him? Biggest, who had the biggest influence of you? And told you about the goodness of God. Well, um, I would have to give all the credit to a nun. Um, she lived. I lived in a convent for a couple of years uh, with the nuns. I fell in love with them. I loved to uh, pray with them, cook with them, clean with them. I did everything. I shopped with them. But they taught me all about Jesus, and they taught me how to pray, and. Uh, they taught me just so many things, wonderful things about Jesus that I had no idea about a lot of these things. And even though that I, I went to church once in a while when I was younger, but it was um, like nothing else that I had ever experienced in my life. And so uh, the nun's name was Sister Veronica Marie. And I have to give her all the credit because she was my mentor, um, and she just taught me so much. And the sad thing is that she was taken away from the church and uh, sent elsewhere, and uh, it broke my heart. And, and then um, how would you say she influenced you? I know, you know she prayed with you, and she, but what was the biggest thing that she did? In, in showing you that Jesus loved you, and how, how did she do that? I think because she, she we, uh, we talked about Jesus all the time, and, and most of the time, we, I remember sitting on the edge of the bed, and her and I would discuss Jesus, and she would tell me how much that he loved me, and to me, that just meant a whole lot to me to know that Jesus loved me that much. And I, I would have to say that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, she was such an inspiration to me. And I, 
I looked up to her for everything. I bet. I bet you, and you lived there. How, how old were you when you started to live there? Well, I was in the fifth grade okay. uh, when I lived there. And of course, I only lived two blocks away from there. So I was able to go back and forth to my house. Okay. But many nights I stayed there all night. And they even called me Sister Mary. And uh, of course, uh, I, they gave me a black veil and they called me Sister Mary. And so I just like, like just one of them, Came on. and it, it was amazing, and my parents were very happy that I had chose that. Nice. Well, that's important, too, parents being in, in cooperation with what kids are, are wanting to do. Um, oh, absolutely. So how, how can kids, how can kids uh, you know, share and tell people about the good, the good news? Well, for one thing, I think it's very important that these children go to uh, Sunday school yes, and uh, be taught everything that they can about Jesus. I, I'm sure that their parents are teaching them also, but uh, there's not anything like being with other children your age and, and listening to others, you know, tell you all about the stories of Jesus. And there's wonderful stories of him. He's, he's the most wonderful man ever. Ever, ever. So and I, I always, I'm sorry. Ahead. I always say that, that Jesus is my joy and he is my life and he is my peace and so he is my everything. Awesome. Those four things are always very important to me. That's so Joy, cool. life, peace, and everything that he means to me. So, you know, you got a little bit older, um, you got married, and how were you, how were you able to influence your kids to, to love God, and how did that all turn out? Well, I, I, I love church so much, and, my, and thank goodness my children love to go to church too, so I started teaching Sunday school, mm -hmm. and so they each went to a different class, and uh, we just were excited every Sunday because they wanted to go to Sunday school to learn more about Jesus, and I read to them all the time when they were young, so it's just really important that these children get the knowledge of everything about Jesus and his love for them. And he will do anything for you. There's sometimes that you won't get everything that you want. He only gives you what he thinks that you should have at that time. Well, and like, I know. <laughs> me, it's uh, you were living it out in front of them. It yes. Was, it was because it was in your heart and you wanted to share it with your kids. And then they have, you know, grown up. And hopefully they're carrying on that tradition of absolutely loving God and uh, being a part. So you know, a lot of time, I many you know when I first started doing kids ministry thirty years ago, it was a uh, thirty five years ago now, it was a lot different then. And there's so many distractions to kids, you know, coming to church and following God. Right. And it's it's really really difficult, I think, for you know, for most churches to attract those kids and do something that's going, they're going to want to come back for. But, you know, the gospel hasn't changed. The delivery system probably has a little bit. And right. That's okay, because the, the, yeah. the, the gospel, the, the good news has not changed. That message hasn't changed. But right. in order to get it through to the kids and the parents, you got to you got to be a little bit more creative these days. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Keep their interest, you know. <laughs> so one of the yeah, one of the things uh kids that I I remember about Miss Jeannie was uh she would she would make it a point to come and and uh watch what we were doing with the kids and so so tell the kids a little bit about that and how how that all came to be. Well, every Sunday that I'd go to church, I always got excited to go back to the children's wing and see Pastor Jim. <laughs> and uh, it would just excite me. I, that was the first thing that I had to do when I entered the church. I said, I got to go back and I got to look into the classroom, see what the children are doing. And of course, some of them, I, I taught vacation Bible school for four years there. And so, and I loved every bit of it. 
and I got to know a lot of the kids. So they'd see me and they'd peek in. Some of them would try to come out the door to give me a hug and stuff. And just <laughs> warm my heart, something awful. <laughs> yeah. Because my grandchildren all live away and stuff. And so I don't get to see them nearly as much. But so I, you know, I love to go in and, and check these little kids out and see what they're learning. And I just have a blast with children. I love children. And, uh, but I always look forward to seeing you, Pastor Jim, and how you relate it to those children. You were just magnificent. And I can't say enough about your good work at Midway Church. Well, I appreciate that. I, I, ha- I want to tell you a quick story about a guy named Dell. <laughs> He was 80 years old and had never worked with kids. And this was many years ago at a church in Cincinnati. And we asked people, uh, we needed some storytellers. And Dell was one of the first people to volunteer. And he had never worked with kids. And he came to us and, and we were like, okay, so we're going to make a book. And you're going to go around to the different preschool rooms. And you're going to sit down in a rocking chair. And you're going to tell a story to the kids. And he started doing just doing this thing and the kids loved him he started really loving the kids and he was 80 years old at the time and uh he was like i i'm gonna have to go into the hospital i need a surgery and and the kids were like where's where's mr dell oh <laughs> grandpa dell where's grandpa dell and we were like well he's at the hospital <gasps> can we make him a card and they started Aww. They started like making him cards and we took cards to him and he, he just started crying because he didn't realize how much it meant to him. But it's really important for anybody, anybody oh, who yeah. a skill just to, even if you don't even know it, I mean, just try, right. try and just like you did, you know, teaching Sunday school, doing all that. But it's really important for kids to know. It's, it's just not just one person. It's not, it's not enough for right. me, but you know, back there in the wing, when we have all these adults and they're just loving the kids and correcting them when they need to be corrected, right, they're right. Doing, they're doing the stuff and showing them how great God is. It becomes such an impact into those kids. And oh, absolutely. I'm not sure that they even realize it. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, but but they will as they grow older. They'll they'll remember these things. That's right. That's right. So one last thing, Miss Jeannie, I appreciate you coming on so much. Can you pray for the kids and pray for the parents? I sure can. Watch this, and and we'll get inspired to start telling people the good news. However, (laughs) you can do it. You know, it might be just being kind and, and standing at the door and l- greeting people as they come in, or it could be in, you know, doing a puppet or, you know, whatever. Yes. So can you pray for the kids and the parents and the people that are watching this? I sure can. Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for loving us and teaching us how to love others just as you have loved us. Teach us to be kind to others and to forgive others if they have hurt us, even if it's hard to say you forgive. We pray that our lives will be overflowed and the power of your love so that we can be world changers and bring you such honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, so good, Miss Jeannie. Hey, one last, one last, I, I lied earlier. I'm going to ask you one more thing. Okay. Where do you work? I work at Wober's Mustard Company. When we make I, mustard. <laughs> when I found out she worked at the mustard place, I was like, oh, I love this mustard. It's stadium mustard. I, I could only get it in Cleveland. And guess what she said, kids? Go ahead and tell, me, tell them what, the, what you said to me. I said, if, whenever you need it, you just let me know and I will send it to you. Their company makes stadium mustard <laughs> and she gave me like five bottles of it I was, so, I was so happy i was like oh my gosh i'm not gonna have to buy mustard for a year well i'll send you a whole case <laughs> when i get back to work thank you so much, Ms. Jeannie. love you so well, much well thank you and i love you children and go to church go to sunday school and thank jesus for everything that you have 
That okay? Is... Love him because he loves you. Amen. Couldn't have said it any better myself.